To be fair with you, I'm kind of surprised that five matches took three hours. Am I disappointed? No, but I'm surprised that five matches are taking three hours. Let's get real here. Fast lane, it's over, and I'm here to talk about it. The night started with Jey Uso versus Cody Rhodes versus The Judgment Day. And Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes won. I am really happy to see Jey Uso winning the title again, but not with his brother. And also, Judgment Day dropping the titles because Rhea is gonna be mad now. And I'm really excited what the future holds because also JD McDonough flipped everything up by damaging the knee of Damian Priest. And because of that, Damian Priest didn't cash in tonight. I think, in general, Damian Priest cashing it that early, it's a mistake. It would be great if he waits until WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. But that's just my opinion. I'm really excited for next week to see what Rhea Judgment is gonna be. The next match was LWO versus Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. LWO had a secret partner in Carlito. Was I super hype about it? Not so sure. But anyway, LWO won, which means that there is a tough start for the Hurt Business, I was about to say it, but the Hurt Profits or whatever their name is. And that's kind of tough because they're claiming that they're gonna take out the whole division, but at the same time they cannot get a victory. What, 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 what is going on? They, they should get better opponents, easier opponents. What is going on here? And next we had Charlotte versus Asuka versus Io Sky and Io Sky retained. Not the best ending that I wanted because Io Sky retained, but with the help of damage control, I was expecting at least if she wins to win on her own. Otherwise, why not give Charlotte her 15th reign and after some time her 16th reign, after some time her 17th reign? Because we all know that she should be the one that surpasses her father and John Cena. She should be the one. But nah, nah, but maybe there is a there is a better storyline out there. Was that the best ending in my book? No, but it was not bad because we saw that Bailey actually cares. She's not just a loud mouth that just puts her people on the line without caring about them. And uh, damage control is strong, which I wanted to see for quite some time because they were quite weak even though they had the titles but Bailey is kind of weak maybe Bailey is trying to be good in EO's book so she can get a title shot maybe that's the next thing maybe Bailey is gonna be like exactly the same situation like Escobar and Rey Mysterio, like Escobar just asking for title opportunity. John Cena, Eli Knight versus the Bloodline, or as I call them, the Scuffed Bloodline, uh, aka Jimmy Uso and Solo Sikoa. The match was good. John Cena gave a lot more than he gave at WrestleMania, which is something that I really enjoyed. LA Knight was a star, everyone was a star. John and LA won at the end. It was a quite entertaining match. I really enjoyed it. Last but not least, the main event. Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura, last man standing match. I was really excited to see that. I was okay with Shinsuke winning. I was okay with Seth winning. But the, what, the, but the match went on and on and on. And neither of them were definitely dominant. But as the match was going on, I was seeing more and more that Shinsuke can be a world championship material, to be honest with you. He did a lot of spots, he did a lot of things, he, did a, he paced in the match so well, at the end he couldn't put Rollins down for 10 count, and at the end it took for Rollins only for a falcon arrow to keep Shinsuke down and the 10 count was so strange because Shinsuke almost got up but he couldn't but Rollins got up but after the 10 count he fall down don't get me wrong I love Rollins as a champ but I think they should definitely do 
Rollins vs. K- Shinsuke Part 3, where Shinsuke takes the title, or maybe some match down the line, I believe that Shinsuke deserves to have a run as a world champ. I really don't like the fact that he doesn't speak English and he always does his promos, his videos packages and when he speaks, speak, he speaks in Japanese. I really don't like that, but I think he deserves a shot to prove me wrong and all the fans out there. I believe that there are a lot of fans out there that they believe that he is gonna be a great champion but maybe the thing they're doing is they're trying to elevate the world title as much as possible because the world title is kind of less irrelevant than the intercontinental championship title for example the threat of damian priest is not really a threat in my opinion because i think they're teasing it from time to time but they're gonna save it for a big event for him to cash in at the end of the day his money in the bank brief great case is super special because he even has a special briefcase and I think they're gonna use it very well and gonna utilize it very well. So yeah, that was WWE Fastlane 2023, five matches. I really like that there were five matches, but I didn't like that it's three hours. What took so long, man? What took so long? Why some of the matches were so long? But anyway, I was entertained. I hope you were entertained. Tell me, if you like the results of fast lane and i'm really excited for monday for next friday to see what's next what's gonna happen next thank you guys so much for watching peace